Hello, this is Sam Fari again, the instructional designer in New York, and we're just going to go over some basic branding within EdApp today. And as you can see here, there is one course that is blank. It doesn't have a thumbnail here, and it is in dire need of branding. Um, so branding can be done by admins on a course or lesson level, and the branding can make the user experience feel very customized to your company. Images can be added in these ways. So if I click on the branding tab, here's where these images can be added here so to have that customized feel. Um, we're gonna go over each of these, but this is what you would call a course level branding and with these options. You, there's also a lesson level branding that, will affect, that could affect an individual lesson if you wanted to. Okay, the thumbnail here is a small icon. It's representative of the course. It's only seen by the admins, authors, and reviewers. It's actually not shown in the learner's app. This is purely for your organization and visual purposes. If I click here on the desktop, I actually have a branding folder ready to go. The thumbnail should be a square. It should We have dimensions here underneath. And if it's a square, it will not be stretched out and there it is. Um, the cover image, this is an important part of branding because this is what you see in the learner's app. If I click over here to my learner's app, these are cover images. So without one of these, uh, it could look a little bland. Um, for the cover image, I have a cover image ready. Its dimensions are different. They're gonna be around a thousand by 200 pixels. And they can actually be a little taller than this. Um, I found that it could even go up to around 400 pixels or even more. I would just experiment a little bit and see how you like your uh, cover image. Underneath that, we have the cover image text color. This is important. If you have a darker image, I would consider this more of a darker image. Uh, I would put a white uh, text color on top of it for, leg or for legibility purposes. And so you have a choice between black or white text here. For the logo, this is completely usable with PNGs. So I have a logo ready, actually. It's an EdApp logo, a little variant of an EdApp logo. And when I put this on here, this will be applied to all of the lessons in the course. Uh, it will have the logo in the top left-hand corner. Uh, the background, uh, the dimensions are here is 1200 by 600. We do suggest using an image for a background in most cases, and in some cases it doesn't uh, necessarily uh, uh, coincide with the brand, but it does give a depth and a movement to the course. So if you have a great image that you'd like to put in the background of a lesson, I suggest doing one that has an overlay of a white or black or a color. And the reason for that is it'd be, it would be easier to read the text if there's some sort of gradient or overlay on top of that image. Just because images have different colors within them, you don't want a white part of your image to get in the way of white text. So I suggest putting on an overlay and choosing your text color, which we will in a second. But I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna open up my background image, which is a sort of a rainbow gradient. And because of that, you, I might want a white or black text. I think I'm gonna keep the black text on this one just because it's a light background. Um, here is where you would choose your text color under color scheme. Now color scheme, if, as you can see, there are uh, many choices here. These are really, if you don't have a background image, these are the colors that would appear on the background of the lesson or lessons, excuse me. Um, the blocks in the center here are gonna be the text color. So you have a choice of a white text color, black, red, we have a navy and a gray, and that is what you can do here with the color schemes. If you have a background image, these other colors here don't necessarily matter, um, but I would stick with the white background or the black one if you have a, a background image. Here we have custom CSS. This is a web development language and you can manipulate things like the fonts, the color of buttons, borders, et cetera with this. You can also look in the description uh, of this lesson for a link to a guide on CSS and EdApp. Okay, so let's take a look at our course just so that we can 
uh, see what we just did. As you can see, here's my background image. Here's my logo. And if I went back to my courses page, there's my thumbnail. Okay, have a great time with this experiment. Be creative, have fun, and I'll see you next time.